Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Commander review video. My mouth is very dry, so I'm going to have some water real quick. Today we are talking about Baron Sangir from the Homeland set. Baron Sangir is a very famous character uh, and villain, if I remember correctly, from Magic the Gathering. Um, Vampire Noble is the eroded text for Baron Sengir. It is a 5-5 that costs 5 generic mana and 3 black mana, so very expensive. That is definitely this card's biggest weakness, is it's 8 mana to play just once from the command zone. However, 3 abilities with Baron Sengir. The first is it has flying. The second is whenever a creature dealt damage by Baron Sengir this turn dies, put a plus 2 plus 2 counter on Baron Sengir and tap regenerate another target vampire which is really cool um, the fact that this has singular plus two plus two counters is insane uh, I don't know exactly how that works with like negative one negative one counters I would imagine that it's one of those like a negative one negative one counter would half the counter but the only way to get rid of the plus two plus two counters you have to have two negative one negative one counters to fully get rid of the effect i'm not exactly sure very unique uh, ability with that but it is an old school vampire ability where the vampire has to destroy the uh opposing creature somehow to uh siphon its blood or life force to make it stronger so with that said Rules text, the Baron's ability will only regenerate creatures with the type Vampire, regardless of whether the creature has Vampire in its name. I guess that was a confusion of old, older times? I don't know why that had to be errated in 2004. I feel like that's pretty straightforward, because Vampire type was still a... I don't remember when like creature types became more prevalent, but... That is, you know, just so you're aware, it re reanimates any vampire, or regenerates any vampire creature type. Not just vampire in its name. Or if it's a vampire name and it's not a vampire creature type, I guess would also be some confusion. So, only creature types, vampire. Although Baron Sengir is now a vampire, it still can't regenerate itself. And it does say that very clearly. Um, not in that, but in the current oracle text, regenerate another target vampire. It cannot regenerate itself. Um, let's have some fun with vampires. Let's have some fun with plus one, plus one counters. Cordial vampire. Whenever cordial vampire or another creature dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on each vampire you control. So now you don't even have to directly have your vampires fight creatures in play. You could just use a destroy spell and uh, then get the counters anyway, which would be fun. Just plus one, plus one counters though, not the plus two, plus two. Uh, as you could expect, expect, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for. As you could expect from uh, Baron Sangir, I am putting Baron in a vampire tribal deck. So anything that deals with or interacts with vampires is going in this deck and it's mono black and it's brutal you could however take advantage of that plus two plus two counter and just go crazy Voltron and constantly have Baron Sengir attacking your opponents destroying creatures that's blocking it making it bigger and dealing combat damage with commander damage giving it protection like uh, Kaya's ghost form or sneaky damage like Tainted Strike. You could get players removed that way. I've seen it happen. It's insane. Lastly, uh, even more in depth of this plus two plus two counter synergy is just doing a counters theme in general where you are either putting plus one plus one counters on your creatures, putting negative one negative one counters on your opponent's creatures, proliferating the board as much as possible to gain control of that board state and dominate uh, the table throughout the whole game. So counters in general, plus one plus one or negative, would be this build. And that's going to do it for Baron Sangir. 
uh, lots of damage very quickly, uh, can get a very big threat on its back. So bear that in mind because it is expensive as I said in the beginning of the video. 8 mana is a lot. If it gets removed once into the command zone, that's now 10 mana just to play it again. So if you're going to play Baron Sangir, try and play it only once from the command zone because that's very expensive. Uh, that is going to do it for this video though. Let me know if there's anything I missed. Let me know if there's any deck ideas that I didn't talk about that you guys play with or that you've heard of. And if you want to see more of this content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified when more videos come out. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!